Here is the exact social media strategy that I would do if I had all the time, money, and capacity to grow my following, build my brand, and get more customers. The first thing I would do is I would create long-form videos on a platform like YouTube. And the reason why is because YouTube's algorithm is a lot less aggressive than platforms like TikTok and Instagram. If you think about platforms like Instagram and TikTok, their algorithms value recency, meaning it's never going to push out content that was posted years, months, or even weeks ago. And if you are a creator on those platforms and you only use those platforms, that means you're always going to need to stay relevant by posting a lot of content at a high frequency and on a frequent basis. Whereas platforms like YouTube, when I post a video today, that video can still be found months and years later. Even for me, I'm still getting steady traffic, steady leads, and steady followers from videos I posted four years ago. So for me, I feel YouTube is a better investment of my time because I can see the long-term rewards later on. Whereas with Instagram and TikTok, when I spend so much of my effort creating videos like this, I know that after a few weeks, that video or that content piece is going to fizzle out and it's not necessarily gonna be resurfaced on the algorithm ever again. And it's not going to get me new followers, new clients at all. Whereas on YouTube, I'm still getting clients and followers from videos I posted months and years ago. So that's why the perfect social media strategy, in my opinion, includes a strategy that involves YouTube. And this is especially if you want to build a long-term brand and get steady leads in the long-term for your business. Now, in terms of being on YouTube, my ideal upload schedule would likely be two to three videos a week. Now, of course, if you are someone who doesn't have that capacity, I would only do one video a week. But in this video, we're talking about my dream social media strategy, okay? And so I would do two to three videos a week. And the reason why is because I know YouTube values watch time. And so the more watch time that you can get on your videos and in your channel, the more YouTube is gonna favor you as a creator, the more chances your video will end up on suggested, the more chances your video will rank in search, and the more chances your videos will end up in someone's homepage. And so I would try to build a strategy where I'm gonna rack up as much watch time as possible. So what that looks like is instead of just doing one video a week, I would try to do three videos a week and each of those videos should be at least 15 to 30 minutes long. That means that I'm posting three long form videos that's gonna rack up that watch time, get me monetized a lot quicker. And if you're someone who is monetized, if you are posting more videos and each of those videos are longer, you're gonna also get more AdSense revenue. Let me give you an example. My monthly AdSense revenue used to be $4,000 a month. And that's because I was only posting once a week and my videos were about five to 10 minutes long. But then I decided to change my strategy and I doubled the length of my videos. And what ended up happening was my AdSense revenue actually ended up doubling as a result as well. And now we are averaging about $10,000 a month. And so that is an incredible, incredible improvement. And that's all from focusing my attention to increasing my watch time. And so my dream social media strategy, if I were to be on YouTube, would be absolutely to optimize for watch time. At the same time though, my dream social media strategy does not just include YouTube because short form videos are all the rage right now. But what I would do to give me back my time is I would actually hire a social media manager to watch all of my long form videos and create as many timestamps as possible where she is focusing on trying to find 30 second to one minute clips that can be converted into short form content that can be distributed into TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. And by the way, this is exactly what we do in our business right now. My social media manager watches all of my long form videos. She has a spreadsheet where she actually outlines every single timestamp that she believes could be turned into a short form video. And then what I would do is I would hire a video editor to follow those instructions and then try to edit my long form video into as many short form clips as possible. Then once my video editor is done with that, my social media manager will then distribute all those content pieces to multiple platforms, meaning she's going to schedule those content pieces onto TikTok, Instagram Reels, and also YouTube Shorts. 
This ultimately is going to help me get maximum distribution on multiple platforms with the least amount of effort. Because on my end, what I've only created is just that one long form video. And one long form video can turn into multiple short form videos, which could then be distributed on multiple platforms. And if you have the money, I would hire those key positions, a social media manager and a video editor to help you make it happen so that you can get your time back to do other things in your business or in your personal brand. Now, at this point, I would have gotten a lot of time back, but what would I do with that time? So personally for me, in my dream social media strategy, I would spend that time creating viral hits. Because on one hand, yes, these repurposed short form videos is gonna be really great for distribution. At the same time, these types of repurposed videos don't often go viral. In order for you to really go viral for each platform, whether it's YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels, you really wanna create content that is native to that platform. Oftentimes, when you're trying to repurpose from a YouTube video, it's kinda of obvious that it is taken from a bigger video. Whereas when you create content like this that is more native to the platform, whether that's you dancing, following a trend, these types of content pieces have greater potential to actually go viral. And so, since I got my time back by having my team create as many short form videos as possible to hold us over for Instagram and TikTok, so I'm not a slave to that algorithm, for the time that I do have, I would then focus on creating a few content pieces that are optimized for TikTok or that are optimized for Instagram, which gives me more opportunity to potentially go viral. So for example, a video like this where it's stitched content got me a lot of reach. This is not a video that I posted on YouTube. Or even a video like this where I'm talking direct to camera using an iPhone, not necessarily a fancy camera. This also did extremely well. Or even content pieces like this where I'm following a trend, these also take off on the platform. And the reason why is because they are designed for that platform. And so I personally think that the best social media strategy is a blend of long form videos on YouTube, short form videos that hold you over on these two platforms so that you're not a slave to the algorithm and you're not feeling like you need to create new short form content every single day. And at the same time, if you have the time back, then you have the opportunity to create viral hits. And so to me, these three types of content pieces would be crucial in my dream content strategy. Now, at this point of the video, you might be wondering to yourself, Vanessa, how come you're focusing so much on increasing the amount of posts that you do? And the reason why is because I have observed the brands that have grown really fast. Their key ingredient is the fact that they're able to post a lot more than the average. If you look at the Hormozis, for an example, they grew extremely fast on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and it's simply because they maximize their output. They have dedicated teams doing a bunch of content every single day on multiple platforms. The same thing goes for Gary V. Gary V exploded his socials because it was a frequency and volume play. I also have a friend whose name is Cody Sanchez, and she's also been able to blow up her platforms extremely quickly simply because she puts so much content out every single day on multiple platforms. Now, there is a reason why this video is all about my dream social media strategy if I had all of the time, money, and capacity. Because people like the Hormozis, Gary V and my friend Cody Sanchez, they also spend a lot of money on their content teams. $50,000 a month, $70,000 a month, $100,000 a month and upwards. They have dedicated specialists for each platform. They have huge content teams that are able to help them increase their output. And so if you're watching this video, make sure that you're not comparing yourself as a solopreneur to people like them who have huge teams and to people like me who also have a team. At the same time though, I think it's a great strategy to work towards in your business and in your personal brand. Now, that being said, I actually had a conversation with my friend Cody and I asked her, how did you grow your social media platform so fast? And what she told me is she actually hired a specialist for each platform. And so that would be my next step in my social media strategy. And that is hiring dedicated support for each social media platform. For example, if I want a girl on TikTok, I would hire a dedicated social media manager for TikTok. If I want a girl on YouTube, I would hire a dedicated person for YouTube. 
If I want to grow on LinkedIn, I would hire a dedicated person for LinkedIn. When you only have one social media manager and you try to get that social media manager to help you grow on multiple platforms, you're going to grow a lot slower versus if you had dedicated specialists for each platform. And that is exactly how my friend Cody Sanchez blew up her socials was a moment that she went from one social media manager to multiple specialists. Now, again, I think it's really important to remember that the people we admire who are growing so fast on multiple platforms have huge teams behind them and have really big budgets. Even for me, I was comparing myself to the Hormozis, to Gary Vee, and even my friend Cody, and I was wondering why I wasn't growing as fast as they were. But then when I found out how much money they were spending on their teams, how they had multiple social media managers, multiple specialists, and multiple video editors, it made a lot of sense to me why I wasn't growing at the same rate and I stopped beating myself up over it. At the same time, I use them as my model. I use them as my inspiration and something to work towards. And so even for you guys, if you watch my videos and you see my growth on social media and you're comparing yourself to me, I think it's important to know that I have a social media manager and a video editor helping me do a lot of things. Now, should that be an excuse as to why you can't grow on social media? Absolutely not. I think it's all a matter of being really smart with your content. And to me, in my opinion, one of the smartest ways to do your content is content repurposing. Very similar to what I said earlier on, if you focused on creating one long form video and then chopping that up into short form content, which you can schedule out and distribute on different social media platforms, that to me is already time leverage. Not only this, from that long form video, you could also take the transcription and take bits and pieces of what you did and turn that into an email newsletter. In addition to this, if you want to, you could also turn those little things that you said in that long form video into carousel posts on Instagram. If you actually look at my content strategy, a lot of my content stems from my YouTube videos. If you look at my homepage on my Instagram, all of my short form or most of my short form comes from my long form videos. And then a lot of my Instagram carousels actually come from my newsletter that I write once a week to my audience. Now, this doesn't mean you need to have a newsletter, but I want you to know that a lot of my content content actually is repurposed from rich media. And what I mean by rich media is it's basically longer form content, whether that's audio form, written form, or video form. Now, personally, if you are strapped for time, I think the biggest bang for buck is video because with video, you're able to turn that into text. You're able to take the audio and turn that into a podcast, or you can turn those into short form videos. And so the biggest bang for buck, in my opinion, is long form video if you are strapped for time. Now, at this point, I shared my dream social media strategy, but there is one thing that's missing in the equation, and that is building a community. A lot of creators, including myself, we fall into the trap of being so focused on building an audience that we forget to build a community. And so what I would do is I would create a free Facebook group, a free Discord channel, a free circle channel, or a free school channel, whatever platform you decide to use to host your community in. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between an audience and a community? Well, an audience, in my opinion, is very one to many. But when you create a community, it means that you're allowing the people who follow you to interact amongst each other. And the common thread is because they found you. And so what I would do is once I've created this group, I would have that group linked into all of my social media call to actions, inviting my audience, inviting my loyal fans to join this community. And in this community, we could discuss ideas. We could discuss my latest videos. We could share insights and lessons amongst each other and have actual conversation. This would be a really great hub to actually nurture your audience even further and develop and create super fans for your personal brand. This is one thing I feel is really missing in my current strategy, and I'm really looking forward to creating this type of community in the future. And so I really hope that this gives you a lot of different ideas of what you can possibly do with your personal brand in order to not just get more customers, but also grow your following as well. Now, at this point of the video, I've shared my dream social media strategy, but the problem is that many of us, including you and I, are not at this level yet. And so I want you to watch this video next because I break down my entire content strategy that is completely doable even if you are a beginner and is guaranteed to get you more reach than you are getting now. So thanks for watching this video, but I will see you in this video next.